Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. For today's video, I had every intention of waltzing straight outside, heading to my feed store, and purely filming a What I Feed My Horses vlog. However, my darling husband has other ideas for me. Don't you, darling? <laughs> he said he will help me and assist me in filming, but he will, you did say he will, if I help do this first. Look what I've got to do. Oh. The tree surgeon came and took another tree down that was dangerous. Early this morning, all the aftermath of the mess, debris, I don't know what the word is anyway, the brambles, over there to be burnt. And yes, I was stomping my feet just then because all I wanted to do was film what I, want, what I feed my horses vlog and then go and ride my pony because it's finally stopped raining. But that's not happening. And the longer I talk about it not happening, the further away <laughs> doing it will be, correcto? I'm gonna help you, I've put my gloves on. I don't really want to ruin them. Talking of, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, talking of gloves, giveaway going live on Instagram tonight for a pair of woof wear thermal, not these ones that I'm wearing, these are the waterproof, um, but woof wear thermal precision gloves in collaboration with Treehouse. So that giveaway is going live this evening. It will last a week. So do head over there if you don't follow me already and get entering that one, should you wish to. And secondly, another thing that I've just filmed uber quickly was a challenge for challenge social where I showed two of my favorite, actually, I could probably just edit the challenge in because that is another thing that is gonna be live for the next week, seven days till next Sunday. So we've got two prize giveaways going on. One on Instagram, one on Challenge Social. The Challenge Social one is for a tiger's tongue and a, hey? <laughs> if I don't help him in a minute, he's gonna stop and I won't be able to get out of here. I'm gonna help you, just give me 30 seconds. Right, future Tina here now, editing in to say, whilst we are on the subject of product, I had a delivery this morning in the post, so a very quick 30 second ad break, guys. Equilite have restocked their hats with the rechargeable lights in the front that I have shown you over the last couple of months. And I know that they sold out super, super quickly last time in the black and the burgundy and they have just restocked. This literally arrived in the post this morning in navy. So there are three colours. Struggling to do this one-handed. Three colours available now. The navy's pretty lush, matches my coat. Um, and as I said, yeah, the removable, rechargeable light, which has, oh, it's come charged, lovely. Three settings, bright, very bright, or very, very, very bright, and is lovely fleece line so very good quality and toasty warm faux fur pom-pom and available in headbands too so yeah i thought i would just edit this in really quickly rather than wait till next tuesday because i know that they sold out super duper fast like i think the headbands which are 19.99 sold out within half an hour last time so i wanted to come on i'm gonna pop this one on quickly actually oh yeah i wanted to come on and show you because i don't want you guys to miss out obviously i will be popping a post on instagram too but i know lots of you that follow me on here don't necessarily use the gram and they are ab fab like i said they make doing hay nets things like that places where you haven't got lights in the winter dark evenings i know it's going to be lighter soon but late night checks everything like that they make it much less of a chore being able to actually see what you can do anyway i said this was going to be 30 seconds it's gone far over 30 seconds i'm going to edit in really quickly the other colors that are available which is the black and the burgundy da, da, da. and head straight back to past tina now I've, I've already been inside and had a nap because it was horrible weather and I was tired. Um, yes, right. Quickly, the more we talk about this, the less chance of me actually finishing and putting this down. I'll insert the challenge here. Basically, I've just asked for you to share 
your everyday essential items to help other horse owners out because we can learn about products that we may not have learned about before. Two of my favourites being, or one of my favourite being, the tiger's tongue. The second one being the hands-on grooming gloves, both of which I am going to buy a set of and give away as a prize just because I'm feeling kind and generous like that and they honestly are life life changing time time saving life changing bit of both um but yeah I can't rave about these enough plus the gloves these are the gloves you guys know that I've well these are like five years old this is over a year old you guys know that I talk about them often so I'm giving you the chance to win one of each over on challenge social so I will edit in now the challenge that I have set and I will be back ever so shortly. Hi guys and happy Sunday! Today I am giving you a super spontaneous challenge to respond to. I would like you to give me a product or item that you could not be without, that you use daily and that has helped you survive winter as a horse owner. It doesn't have to be a grooming item that I am going to show you in a minute. It could be your favourite bobble hat, it could be your favourite gilet or your favourite waterproof trousers. Absolutely any item, but just comment below, respond with either a picture or, if you are brave enough, with a video. These two are mine. I would love to see video responses, but no pressure, guys. Um, the hands-on grooming gloves, I've had them absolutely years. These are about five years old now. They are brilliant. A, for scrubbing Banksy's legs and helping me get them white in the summer. I don't do it very often in the winter. Um, but B, also for what's coming up, coat shedding season, for grooming them and getting out any winter coat and transforming into summer coat, as is this also, the tiger's tongue. I'm indecisive as to which is my favourite, to be honest with you, but this one probably is used more often. This is great for getting dry mud off the horse's faces as well, especially if you've got a horse that is sensitive to having their face brushed. Banks doesn't let me put these anywhere near his face, but he's absolutely happy with this going near his face. But this is also very good to use wet when bathing horses, because it acts a bit like a sponge, sponge scourer that you would use in the sink on the dishes. So these are two of my favourite items. And both of these are up for grabs as a prize in this challenge. The prize winner will be selected at random this time next week. So do get responding. You've got seven days and I look forward to seeing all of your items and helping each other in the equestrian community find products that they may not have known about before. Good luck guys! This pistol looks like he's about to fall in the water trough. Robbie's gonna go so mad at me for getting sidetracked. But OC is indeed fruity. Purse, what are you doing? Don't fall in, babe. Are you trying to get away from her? Because she's meowing at you. Are you thirsty? You've got water in there. <laughs> right, I'm going or I'm going to be in trouble. I will be back ever so shortly, like in a matter of two minutes, to tell you more about what I feed my horses and to make this vlog what it is titled so that those of you that may be possibly new here aren't going who is this woman and why is she showing us cleaning up tree debris in her yard yeah if you're new here you're probably thinking i'm pretty crazy but i just wanted to let you know about chances to win um prizes that are up for grabs because i thought every well this is going to open up another can of worms i thought everybody liked winning prizes however I did a live with Jess on Friday night on Instagram, Instagram Live, and there was a bit of a debate going on as to people think competitions are rigged and it really upset me because I was like, no way, are competitions rigged? I'm so naive, I would never have thought of that. Um, and people often won't enter them because they felt that you would have to have like over 3,000 followers in order to win. <sighs> it baffled me because I was like, really? People think that? Um, so yeah, that did upset me a bit because never, ever, 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 ever would that thought have crossed my mind. Um, so much so that I said I'm going to go back and make a vlog about all of the prizes of the people that won at Vlogmas because I know that there were definitely people with very small followings that won some pretty damn amazing prizes. So I'm going to put that on my to-do list to do just to prove against the odds. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'm getting frowned at. I'm going.
I'm legit not even exaggerating when I say it's now nearly two hours later. Yeah. Am I? No. <laughs> no. Oh. But we're getting there. Um, I won't be riding, put it that way. And it's started raining now. Yay. But you are going to have to help me film a video, darling. It will only take five minutes. Do it for these lovely people. <laughs> oh, right. Let's put a coat on. Um, we're nearly there. I've got a good knack to it now, haven't I? Yeah. Apart from we haven't quite got that over there yet. You should see the size of the bonfire we're going to have to have. Crikey. Anyway, this isn't what this video is about, is it? Oh, I'll get to my feed room shortly, guys. But in the meantime, look. Okay, update. We're still going. It's looking a lot better, but there is still a bit to do. So I've got an idea for payback for making me miss out on riding. All right, darling. What was the um, agreement a minute ago? Yeah, you do, to be fair. I stay and help you finish off if you help me muck out and... I'm not going to tell him that, but yeah. I've decided that um, I'm going to see if he knows what we feed the horses. And um, yeah, make it a bit of fun, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Depends whether he'll be up for it. He is pretty cold, tired and wet, so we'll see. Let's finish off here and then I might have to do it tomorrow on my lunch break. He's a babe, isn't he? He's keeping up. It's part of the deal. He has got the easiest stable to do, mind. He's doing dinkses. Oh, I've just done Banksies. Then we are going to do, and Robbie doesn't know this bit yet, but... You've got more wood to put away, yes, but your part of the deal was you would help me for 10 minutes. Okay. And it's only going to take 10 minutes, I promise. Okay, what are we doing then? You need a wheelbarrow, right, I'll get the wheelbarrow a sec. We've also been using these new fabulous corn brushes, and actually you're using the scooper too, aren't you? Yeah. From, all right, Cane Red Gorilla. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but we've been using this one out there, sweeping up the mess. And it's really good. Why did I not have one of them in my life sooner? Right, can't push wheelbarrow one-handed. He's such a good boy. Right, that's fine, that'll do. I can neaten them up whilst um, you are doing whatever you're doing to the wood. The whole point of this video was a what I feed my horses vlog. So, if you could be my glamorous assistant, that'd be very helpful. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> but we have we have hungry wet soggy humans and horses that want to get inside as soon as possible so here are the bowls yeah 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 yeah. you feed my horses and i'll cook tonight yeah yeah i'll cook right there if would you know just asking i haven't told you this but if i was to be away tonight which obviously isn't going to happen at the moment would you know what to feed banksy would you Hundred percent. Okay, show me. <laughs> and I can do my what I feed my horses, demonstrated by my husband. Okay, and what chaff do I have? Do you know? Herbal. herbal. I have, or Banksy has, the healthy herbal chaff by Thunderbrooks. Oh, see, you thunderstruck. Thunder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, do it slowly, babe, because we've got to talk through. The reason Banksy has. That is because it's molasses free. So he has Thunderbrook's healthy herbal chaff, a whole scoop of that morning and night. Yep, then what's in there? Do you know? Balancer. No, that's no. not balancer. That's what's the dynamic, yeah. dynamic, that's his dynamic. bone and joint supplement. Bone so he has, supplement. slower, slower, we need to get the nice shots. No, 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 you don't need more. Oh, okay. Oh, you're doing it in slow-mo for me, thanks. <laughs> So that is Banksy's Dynamic by Blue Chip, which is his bone and joint supplement to keep him nice and healthy and sound. He has that as prevention rather than cure because, thankfully, touch wood, he has no issues with his joints, but that's because he's been having that. He does. Why does he have that? Calm your banks like a nut. <laughs> What's he saying about you, Banks? So he has, yep, yeah, a nice level scoop of that, again, morning and night. 
He's had that for just over three, no, nearly four years now. And I really do find it makes a massive difference. People always ask about karmas, don't they? And say, what works for one horse doesn't necessarily work for others. But I have heard of a lot of people have Level good two. results. Oh, gastric aid. Because you treat him like a baby. He doesn't really need it, but you just... <laughs> he does. It's because he had a runny tummy. So um, Naf suggested he have a bit of that. And it has made a massive dif difference. Because it's got added pre and probiotic just to help him ease his stomach. Because when he's eating haylage, he gets a bit of a runny tummy, don't you? Yeah, thanks for... That was well planned, Banks. Well done. On to Naf Respiratory Boost. Why does he have that? He normally has about half, but we can't go wrong with having a bit too much. That's fine. Why does he have that? Help his breathing. Hey, what does it smell like? I don't think you're going to be able to hear Rob, by the way, because the microphone's facing me. We should have had it facing him. It smells like cough medicine. I should have had the microphone facing you, not me. You try it? No, I don't know if I'm... Actually, it's all natural products, so yeah, I probably could try it. Cough medicine? <laughs> So it has, Banksy likes it. This basically he's had since he had a cough in, or oh, you do like it, don't you? Junior, he just has, he just Ju yeah, but Junior's got a new product, babe. Blue Chip have released a new balancer, which is why I'm doing this for Dinks, yes. A super duper duper look on the label, low calorie balancer. And it says a little pork up because it says it's a very, very low in sugar. They needed a third very, really, so it's triple word Tina, didn't they? Very, very low in sugar and starch with cinnamon. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to pronounce these. So what we do now... What do we do now? Tina doesn't do. Because you're a natural. Right, you don't mix it up enough. I mix it up nice and dry, like that, so it's all mixed up. Because why would you want to have nothing else mixed up? Oh, you mix it up dry, I mix, mix it up wet. Dry like that so it's all mixed up and then put water in oh 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 can't <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Banksy thinks he's having it there now uh, he, likes it. he, likes, it he likes it sloppy jazoppy doesn't he yeah, and you don't do it sloppy enough he tells me really Banks does daddy make it better than me I feel like I should be adding a few more nutritional facts into this video, but actually it's just fun doing it like this. I mean, I will put links to all the products used below, guys, so that you can go and um, find out for yourselves the exact ingredients, etc. But I'm not going to pretend to be a nutritionalist. What Banksy has been fed has been fed for quite a long time now, and I know it works well for him. And he, and he loves it. He says it's very, very tasty. Even the cat loves it too. Right, Dinks here. So Dinks doesn't need any scoops. He literally just has a minuscule. Robbie's quite generous. He gives him more than I would. Of the chaff, which again is fine for him because it's molasses free and low in sugar and starch, which again is the same as this new. He literally has half one of the mini scoops and because it's a concentrated balancer, it's small anyway, but yeah, it's hardly anything. Yep, absolutely perfect. Thank you very much. And a splash, he doesn't have any gastro aid or any respiratory boost. He has a splash of water and that's that. But yeah, if anybody has a porky pony that still needs all the nutrients from a balancer, then Blue Chip now have a super low calorie one. Um, great for when you need them to lose a bit of weight, but still get in all the goodness. I'll glance over here to my calming so you can see the ingredients and I won't try and pronounce them um, because I'm not very good at pronouncing half of them. I can say magnesium. And I think the other one's L-tryptophan, probiotics, chamomile, and nuclear. Yeah, I'm going to pronounce that one. Right, you want your tea too. Let's get those boys in, and we will move swiftly on to your forage, Banksy, and what you have, won't we? Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in? You are a handsome boy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he says he knows he's handsome. Right, come on then, ponies. Sorry, guys, I realise I'm talking quite loud, very close to the microphone. Come on, ponies! As you can see, my horses are in a delightful state at the moment. Squelch, squelch. Oh, and your rug neck's flicked over. Onto you, little legs. Where's your dindins? Ha ha, Banksy's beat you to it, so you don't get to roll in his stable. OCD kicking in. All right, babe? You didn't have to do that. 
thanks would like to report that it is very, very yummy. As would little legs. Another thing that is absolutely fantastic about the blue chip balancers is that they now make refill bags, or they have done for about six months, so that literally they're reducing plastic used. As you can see, this is a very old tub, and then I get two bags sent down at a time and literally just tip them into there. And as you can see, he's wishing I would give him a little bit more right now because he's already polished off all of his dinner. I shouldn't do that with knife in my hand. On to the forage. I would imagine if you're an OG, you'll know and have seen this hay store many a time. It's where we found Puspus. And then again, later, OC. I've just realised I've got the microphone facing you, babe, so you need to do the running commentary here. What do we have here, darling? Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> We're feeding Banksy a bit of Timothy tonight from Silvermore. What I love about the Timothy is it's nice and dry. So it's the same nutritional value, I believe, if not very similar, to the light. Um, but with him getting a sensitive tummy every now and again, it was more so when we had the really frosty weather. Um, this has helped him no end, and he really does love it. It smells, it smells herby. It smells really nice. It smells it does like smell really nice, doesn't it? Different to any haylage that I've smelt before. You know, sometimes they smell really rich and sweet, don't they? This smells more savoury, like, doesn't it? Jam packed, you have to literally break it up as you put it into the hay net because it just shows how well they're vacuum packed loads into the bale. I think it's the best haylage we've had by far over the years. Oh, definitely. In the 100%. 10 years you've been messing about with. 100%. Hence, he stood at his door nodding, licking his lips because he's like, Give it to yeah. me, ma'am! Um, as you can see, I've gone from having to feed him. Uh oh, look up. OC's here. Hello, sweetheart. Well, here we go with the squealing. Hello. I was just saying we found both puscats in this shed. That's where she lives in the little pink thing up there. Dog yeah, basket. It's probably a bit dark, isn't it? No, you can see it. Oh, okay. She lives yeah. in there. But Puscats used to live there in a cardboard box, didn't they? Yeah, lives in the garage and sometimes in the storeroom. Depends on what she's doing, really. Um, but what I was saying before OC stole the show. Here are. Is that I've had to start feeding him in a small hold hay net because when I put it in the hay feeder, he devours it far too quickly because it's so tasty. So I've had to. Here, she's so noisy. Yeah, so I bought a small hold hay net and it means it lasts him that bit longer, thankfully. Whoosh, dendy. Any additional commentary you'd like to give Robbo? No, I hate doing hay nets. <laughs> That's why we swapped for this bit. I would just get a hand from the throat of the door. Well, yeah, I think lots of people do do that. Lots of people feed from the floor. And he's a very lucky boy, isn't he? He gets this now and then he gets another one later before bed. Tasty! He's quite happy to leave mummy stood there and eat it off me, wouldn't he? He does get a bit frustrated with the small bowls. Come on. I didn't actually fill that one that well. Never mind, we have a bigger one tonight before bed, late night checks. Woo! There we go, i tell you what you can have. As I haven't filled that one that well, I will give him an additional treat, extra forage again from Silvermore. I'm sure you guys have probably seen these on the vlogs before too. He goes mad for them. Look at Dinks, he's like I do too. Oh, he goes mad for them. You go mad for them. Oh, I have it, Mum, but my mouth's not big enough. My mouth's not big enough. It would last you ages, wouldn't it? It's nearly the size of your head. So I literally just flick that up there when I'm not using it. Fill it down. I'll tell you what I do do as well. I just rest it there whilst... <laughs> He's such a good boy. Rest it there whilst I'm untying the knot. It's going to show me up now. I thought he was going to buck it off. The boy, knots untied. I never know which way up to put it, to be honest. I do a variety of each. Tie it on. As I say, he normally goes mad for them, so I don't know why he's showing me up. He demolishes it in less than 10 minutes, generally. Which is why he doesn't have it anywhere near a wall, because if you have it near a wall, they can pin it to the wall and eat it even quicker. There we go, Banks. 
Please don't show me up. Please eat it. You always eat them. Oh yes, but the hail is just smelling divine, Mum. I know it's a freshly opened bale. Just in the nick of time before it gets dark. Thanks, he's highly embarrassed me now by not going straight for that. He normally goes absolutely mad for them, so I don't know why he's not today. Like I say, maybe it is. Oh, we're steaming up. It's raining and getting dark. Maybe it is. Woo! Because he's got a lovely fresh bale open. Is that why you're showing me up and not going for the swingsies? Hmm? Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you do, do smash a big thumbs up. Comment below if you've got any questions regarding what I feed him. I'm sorry it wasn't as thorough as I intended it to be. However, hopefully it was more fun than I intended it to be. One more question I do have for you guys before I go, if you have managed to get this far, is this is being uploaded on Tuesday, 7 p.m., which the OGs again of you will know is my regular upload day. However, I am doing my very best to and have done since November upload at least twice a week. I put a poll on Instagram the other day saying, would Friday, Saturday or Sunday be a preferred day? The majority actually said, Dinks is breaking into the feed store. <laughs> the majority actually said, Dinks, you are so naughty. Said Friday. Um, it's currently Sunday. I did upload a video on, get out please. I did upload a video on Saturday because Friday was before I ran the poll or got the results of the poll. Get out please. So I'm interested to know what you guys think too because obviously I'm aware that not everybody that watches these videos on YouTube is on Instagram as well and I value all of your opinions. So do let me know in the comments below, like I say, if you've got this far and I will see you all very soon, maybe Friday or Saturday. But do subscribe and turn the notification bell on and you will be alerted when I next upload. Over and out for now. Bye bye. Just in the nick of time. Time to go in and cook tea. See you all very soon.